Good evening, my fellow Forkmen and subjects and people and such. Today we are going to draw a legged fish. Now, you may be wondering what a legged fish is. I'm thinking maybe like a reverse mermaid type thing. But, let's get started. This is going to be one of the best drawings I've ever done on this channel. Now, uh, we gotta gather materials for our drawing first. The first material we will need is a bottle of Spider Fighter. Tastes really good. Um, the second thing we'll need is a paper crane. It also tastes really good. The third thing we will need is three plastic flutes. Um, you can you can get them at your local Walmart. They cost about ninety seven cents. And the final and most important thing we will need is a pencil. One that's more sharpened than this one. Oh well. Now, let's get started. The first thing we will need to do for, uh, to begin our legged fish drawing is we'll start on the legs. Let's get it a, a nice flat top to the knee because that's how knees look. If bare knees look. And then we finish the leg. We'll have it like, like at a slight angle extended outward. Um, let's give, uh, bring this down some more. Now let's draw the calf. There's our leg. First part of our leg. Now let's draw the feet. feet. We can just extend it down a little bit more and give it a heel. And finish off the toes. Make it a little more curved. You know, elegantly pointed toes. Now, let's do that. That. And that. And then we'll draw the other leg, which is behind the first one. And this one will be like that. Just as meaty as the other one is. Oh, well, I don't know, it could be fat. What do you think re uh, legged fish eat? I don't know if I dare say this, but... Put it down in the comments below what you think legged fish eat. Let's fix that leg, that foot. Now, if you have, just if you make a mistake, just remember there are no mistakes, just happy accidents that we uh, happen to be able to erase because we're using a pencil, not oil paint. Quote Bob Ross. I don't think he actually said that last part. Darken that up, because those are lines we want to keep. And those are legged fish's legs. Let's draw, give it a back. Give it a front. Now let's draw its head. We'll give it a big fish head. That's the first part. We're going to have its mouth slightly open. Just it'll look better and like that. Maybe give it a, a some dimension. Give it some lips. Lips. Yeah, some lovely lips. Shade that in so you can tell. Then give it an eye. Now we'll draw its scales. You gotta give it some good consonant use. Maybe some gills. Yeah. Maybe make this a little bit more bulging. 
because apparently fishes have chins. Is it fishes or fish? I don't know the plural. Now, we may be, it may appear as though we're done, but we have to add glorious finishing touches such as noses because every fish has a nose. So we'll go like. Every fish has a nose. There's our fish's nose. Fish is possessive, not plural. That's it. Ah, let's make this video a little bit longer and add something cool. So, you know how, like, mermaids are always sitting in those giant clams and such? Or maybe they're just really small. But they're always sitting in clams and stuff, so what's a or oyster or something. Let's uh draw him sitting in it uh uh sitting in one of these things. Maybe Maybe not, maybe not that fine, but like... Give it some depth. There you go. Pearl of the Oyster. It's not transparent, so we'll erase the part that the oyster's covering. And there is our finished legged fish. Product. Um, maybe I'll put a PDF download for a coloring page version of this to give to younger children, and then their parents will be like, Why did you give them this? I don't know. I get good ideas sometimes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this art tutorial, and I hope you can enjoy drawing weird things with me in the future. And remember to check out the Discord server. Link in the description. Bye.